In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Phase 2 Clone Trooper 4 pack. Hello, Star Wars Collectors, and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. And as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Phase 2 Clone Trooper 4 pack. This is one of those white boxes that we are very used to now. It contains four figures, and in this one, we have two standard white clones one 501st and one 332nd. We'll talk about the makeup of that box set in a minute. We're gonna be checking out all of the figures. We're gonna be comparing them against other clones that I have in my collection from previous lines or previous TVC clones that we've got pretty recently actually. So we're gonna be doing all of that in this video, but I just wanna say a huge shout out to my buddy Connor. He has his own YouTube channel called Fuller's Figures and he actually managed to get hold of this for me. He lives over in Ireland and they order all their stuff through Hasbro Pulse EU. So this is shipping from Hasbro Pulse EU. It's not available in the UK yet, and I don't think it's available in the States yet. But I just wanna say a huge thank you to Connor for helping me out to get this over from Ireland for me. As I mentioned, he has his own YouTube channel, Fuller's Figures. Now, if you are interested in G.I. Joe Classifieds and Action Force, and even a bit of Star Wars Black Series. So once you finish watching this video, head on over to his YouTube channel and give him a sub. I will leave the link to his YouTube channel in my description below. So thank you so much, Connor. Really appreciate it, buddy. Right, moving on, we're going to take a look at the box art. So this is the classic white box, and they just put a slight element of color on there and i do love this because the 501st are my favorite clones and you can see them there you've got one 332nd there with the ahsoka helmet i do like the top of the box there that's a little bit different usually it just has the vintage collection logo there but they've actually got a picture of one of the 501st as well there's the back telling you exactly what you're going to be getting in the box so as i said two white clones the 332nd and the 501st and really not much else going on with the box. Some people like these, some people don't, but we're gonna open them up now and check out the figures. So there you go, once again, you can see that these are packed in these little wax packets, four separated by cardboard, so that's pretty cool. All right then, so here they are out of the packaging. We've got the plain clone troopers on the left-hand side, then we've got the 332nd, and then we've got the 501st. Now, first of all, overall, I'm reasonably happy with these. I'm loving the new helmet on these. It's not a removable helmet. It is a swappable head helmet. Unfortunately, you don't get any of the heads with the pack. All you get extra is two extra larger blasters there, as you can see, plus the four blasters that they're holding. So you don't get any extra heads, but I have tried taking off the helmet and putting on the head of the standard clone trooper from the Andor packaging, and it fits perfectly. You know, it's exactly the same. So that's, that's a plus. As I said, I'm gonna bring up the quality control in a minute. You can probably see it right now on the camera. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is that when these figures were first revealed, a few people did notice some like missing details on the helmet, most notably the silver paint applications that should exist on these two black dots there. There should be like silver paint applications there. That is accurate to, you know, clone troopers basically and I'll show you on some previous releases where those exist when we compare them basically because unfortunately these figures just like the press images don't have those but in terms of the helmet sculpt I'm much happier with this sculpt compared to the version that came with that new phase 2 clone on the Andor card that is a removable helmet it doesn't really cover the full head of the figure you can see his chin underneath and the helmet's just a little bit sort of I don't know, a little bit gummy. It doesn't look right, basically. These, for me, look much better. These are almost perfect. They are almost up there with the original antenna mold sculpt, which I will compare in a second as well. But I just wanted to sort of line them up here so you can take a look at them. The quality control issue that I wanted to highlight is on the 332nd Clone Trooper. I mean, look at the paint applications on his helmet there. They are way off to the left. They should be center and that is not good at all. So that is the only one I feel has got, you know, bad paint applications. The rest of them look all right to me, but you know, with these four packs, I feel the sort of quality of the paint applications isn't as good as your standard sort of, you know, carded figure. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to compare was what I was just talking about there, which is the Andor Clone Trooper here versus the new one from the four pack. You can really see the difference in the helmets. You know, the paint applications on this one are too thin 
the visor is way too thin and the helmet is a little bit wide. This one's been brought right in and I just feel it looks a hell of a lot better in my opinion. He's also more of a white colour as well compared to the Andor one. I always felt that the Andor one was a little off-white colour compared to some of the other clone troopers that I have in my collection. But they seem to have corrected that because this one along with all of the others that are in this four pack are of that bright white colour. Very much like the Phase 1 clone trooper that we've just got in that most recent wave with Dooku. That figure there is also white compared to this sort of off-white colour that we have here. But you can really see the difference in the helmet. I really do feel that this is the way to go. I know there are people out there that like the removable helmet and that play aspect, but at the end of the day, I'm not really going to be playing with these figures. These are going to be on display, and I really would like a decent amount of 501st clone troopers in a display, but I want them looking as accurate as possible, but with all the modern articulation. So in a second, we're going to be comparing the 501st trooper that comes with this pack against the original TVC 501st with the skinny legs and also against the Saga collection and Tenor Mold 501st as well which is essentially pretty much the best clone trooper that they've ever done. But that's the standard white clone you don't really see these too many times in Revenge of the Sith you mainly see you know the 212 and the 501st and things like that. So to me, to get two of these in the box, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Ideally, I would personally like just four 501st clone troopers. I don't really need the others, but you know, at the end of the day, it's good to have them. But you know, I don't really want to be buying multiples and multiples and multiples of this pack just to get one 501st clone trooper each time. I guess you could swap them with your friends if there's people out there that want the white clone and are happy to give you your 501st, then maybe you can swap them. Okay, so now it's time to compare the 501st. So the one on the right is the new one. The one in the middle is the Vintage Collection Clone Trooper that we've always had. And the one on the left-hand side is the Saga Collection one. I actually think that might be Commander Apo, which is why he has the pauldron. You just have to ignore that for the moment. But what you'll see there is that the one in the middle, you know, really is beyond a joke at this point in time. I mean, the legs are just so skinny. The helmet is oversized. I'm not really too sure how we've put up with that clone trooper for so long. The new clone body, in my opinion, is far superior to that one. And the helmet now is much more in scale because it's not removable. So for me, that is the way to go. As you can see on the left hand side, you know, for, for years and years, this was the perfect clone trooper. The helmet's great. The body's great. It just lacks the articulation these days. It's got the swivel hips to start with. And yeah, it's just lacking in that kind of area. But you know, don't get me wrong, it's a brilliant looking clone trooper, absolutely. And the other thing you'll notice as well is the color differences. So these two actually look quite similar. The new one is more of like a, I don't know how to describe that, maybe like a royal blue. Whereas these are a much more sort of darker blue with almost a hint of turquoise in there, I would say. I'll have to watch the uh, film or the, you know, Clone Wars or whatever to see which one I feel is more accurate, but I'm, I'm gravitating towards the new one in terms of the color. You know, it matches what's on the box as well. But there you go, that's the comparison of those three. As I mentioned before, you can use the head off of these guys, the new version of the 501st that is, um, and the head from this guy. You can use that on these new clones. I will do that for you towards the end of the video just so you can see what it looks like. But essentially, you know, they're the same body, so it's just gonna look like that basically. So that's the 501st. Now let's take a look at the 332nd. Okay then, so finally we have the 332nd clone troop and I've got him once again compared to the Vintage Collection one. At the end of the day, this Vintage Collection figure here is pretty much a 501st, but just with a different helmet. The bodies are pretty much exact in terms of the paint apps. But you will notice that these two do share the same blue. So maybe it was like a animated type color, maybe compared to the film. Who knows, I'll have to check afterwards. But you'll see there the difference in the helmet. I mean, this one here, as I said, it's just beyond a joke now. It's just so big. And also the legs, just far too skinny for me. This one's superior in every single way, apart from the paint applications. I mean, the quality control issues on this here are just terrible. And he also doesn't have these silver paint applications there that you can just see on there. But um, let's take away the previous version so we can get a good close up look at the new version and you know just check out how bad those paint applications are. And there you have it. You can really see how wonky those paint applications are. They're not straight at all. I mean, that is pretty poor in my opinion. 
So really this figure for me is a bit of a waste. I've only really got three usable figures from this set. Now in terms of articulation, I think it's probably best that you watch my original Clone Trooper video because I go through all the articulation on there. But basically this, is, this figure's got everything you're gonna need. And I'll just show you what happens when you take the head off. It's on a little ball like that. And you can just take the head off of the previous clone plonk it on there and it just looks exactly like that so if you wanted your 501st or your 332nd without the helmets on with them carrying the helmets or whatever and you wanted a clone head then that is possible it's just unfortunate that the pack didn't give you any spare heads especially when the helmet is like that the accessories are exactly what you would get on a single carded clone they are the sort of gummy bendy plastic maybe they don't feel as gummy as the previous versions but you know it's exactly the same sculpt exactly the same color everything is exactly the same and that goes for the rifle style blasters as well so there you have it folks that is the phase two clone trooper four pack in summary i'm actually quite happy with the way they look in terms of the new helmet and the scale and you know everything that goes with that the articulation you know you can really get a decent squad of phase two clone troopers now which actually look reasonably accurate to the source material. The disappointing things about it is they are lacking some of the paint applications on the helmet and of course the quality control issues on my 332nd which isn't on really. Um, you know, they should be doing better than that. But in terms of a pack, it's a good troop builder pack, especially if you're trying to recreate the end scenes of season seven of the Clone Wars. But as I said before, I personally would have preferred it had we got maybe at least two 501sts in that pack rather than the two clean white troopers i think that would have been better but you know it is what it is uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i want to thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you to my patreon supporters and channel members for supporting the channel really do appreciate it guys and thanks once again to connor fuller's figures don't forget to check out his channel if you're into action force and gi joe classifieds and star wars black series does awesome reviews check him out so thanks everybody for watching and we shall see you on the next one